to NACWE. I'm Deidre Marshall. I'm the Manager Delivery and Projects at TUC. As a result of COVID-19, we know that many learners will be wanting to retrain and that employers in key sector areas will be needing more skilled people. In response to that, the government has launched the Targeted Training and Apprenticeship Fund, also known as TTAV, which removes costs for many learners and employers for the next two years. TTAV pays for learners' fees and compulsory course costs for a range of vocational qualifications and programs, and it continues until the end of 2022. The fund is targeted to key areas so that skills shortages and workforce needs are addressed for employers and upskilling and employment opportunities are supported. The TTAF fund will cover fees from 1 July 2020 to December 2022. TTAF covers all TUC approved apprenticeships and qualifications in targeted areas including forestry. For forestry, uh, the examples include New Zealand Certificate in Forest Harvesting Operations, New Zealand Diploma in Forest Management and the New Zealand Certificate in Forestry Operations. For industry trainees and apprentices, TTAF covers the reasonable fees for training and assessment in eligible qualifications and programs. Fees must relate to learners who are enrolled with an industry training organisation or an education provider. It includes fees paid to ITOs like Primary ITO or Competence and fees for training and assessment paid directly by employers and learners to training and assessment providers. The fund does not cover costs for in-house workplace assessors. All domestic students who are eligible for government tuition subsidies are able to access TTAF. This means that people of all ages, regardless of their prior study, can access study or training opportunities through the targeted training and apprenticeship fund. Learners do not need to apply to access TTAF. If your employee enrols in an eligible program, then TTAF will automatically cover their fee costs. There is more information about the fees that are covered on the TUC website. There is also other government support available for businesses, people looking for jobs, or those looking for training and education opportunities. You can find information about these by visiting the website connected.govt.nz. Uh, kia ora, I'm Jane Duncan from the Tertiary Education Commission. I've been working on the Apprenticeship Boost uh, initiative that I'd like to tell you a bit more about. As part of the Government's Apprenticeship Support Programme, uh, the Apprenticeship Boost initiative has been rolled out uh, to help employers mitigate the effects of COVID-19. Apprenticeship Boost is a payment to employers designed to help them keep and take on apprentices. This will help learners continue to train in their programs and to complete their apprenticeships while the economy recovers from the effects of COVID-19. As an employer, you can apply for Apprenticeship Boost if your apprentice is actively training in their apprenticeship program currently, if they are enrolled in an apprenticeship program that is recognised by the Tertiary Education Commission, and if they are in the first 24 months of their apprenticeship. And this includes prior apprenticeship training with their current provider or transitional ITO. As an employer, for an apprentice in their first year, you'll receive $1,000 a month. Uh, when your apprentice moves into their second year, the payment will be $500 per month. Applying is easy, just visit the Ministry of Social Development's website, uh, that's at workandincome.govt.nz and there'll be further information there.